with COVID, you may have had to cancel your vacation to the beach. But with Sangria Mia, you get that tropical escape right from your home. Like many small Belizean businesses, this one was born out of the pandemic after the founder, Amira Pelayo, found herself with a new baby and a failing consultancy business. That's when she decided to use her sangria skills to venture into entrepreneurship. In that time, it was really hard to, to actually, you know, um, generate some sort of income. And so I began to sit and I was thinking, you know, what else can I do? And during that time, never did I ever imagine that I would actually come in the kitchen to prepare something, to create something. And, you know, during that time, you know, a lot of my family members they were like, and friends they were like, you know, you're so good at making sangria. And I'm like, hmm, you know, that could potentially be some venture. And Palaya has never looked back. She said the product came naturally to her since she's been making sangria for years, something she was inspired to do since her parents were fruit and vegetable vendors. And while her sangrias are unique, she says the special touch comes from how natural the product is. My special touch is that it's homemade and it's natural. In my sangria, there is absolutely no um, added liqueur or, you know, there, have, there are some other individuals or maybe even some people prefer to have some sort of liquor in it, like brandy. I don't do none of that. It's simply the wine and the fruits, the fruits infuse with the wine to give it that, to give it that delectable sangria. And she advises anyone who has a business idea to go for it, which is exactly what Shatifa Garba did over four years ago. At only 17 years old, she started her clothing company called Naturally Belizean. And while she has always had customers, she said her business really started booming during the pandemic. So Naturally Belizean came about back in 2016. I was working a summer job. And at that moment, I realized that I wanted something for my own and something to run. And then I realized, why not just be an entrepreneur? So um, that summer, I saved my last pay, my last paycheck. And I decided, you know what, the time to create a business. So in 2016, the whole curly hair trend was going around. And I said, okay, since it's all natural and everyone's natural or going natural, then it's time to do something about natural hair. But at the same time, I wanted to put Belize in it. I wanted a business to do with Belize. So I said, instead of just doing something based around having natural hair, why not just have something representing us natural hair girls, but at the same time, representing, representing where you're from, who you are and your country. But it wasn't easy for her as a teenager to dedicate herself to her business. It requires sleepless nights and tons of research and discipline, but she encourages young people to become business owners of their own. If you are a teen and you say, you may think, oh, you're too young to start a business, it's not, you're not too young. So if you want to start young, um, you have to take on a lot of responsibilities. You have to be mature about running a business and you have to be serious. It is a challenge to start when you are young, say between 16 to 18, because at that time you have your bit of freedom. So you want to be out there a bit. But if you want a business, you have to learn how to balance out life. You have to learn how to balance out school, work, stuff like that. She also warns that at first you may get discouraged. That's what happened to her with her first set of t-shirts. But now her business has grown with products for men and women. Since I started with t-shirts, I have done face masks. I introduced hoodies last year. I introduced a collection for men, which were the men's shorts, and that sold out very quickly. She recently released another line of 501 t-shirts, similar to the one she wore in the interview, as well as phone cases, pop sockets, tote bags. And next month, she will be launching a children's line. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.